back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm gonna share with you our house plants, particularly the ones in our living room. So as of today, I have around 15 plants here, but this is kind of the phase one because I have a lot of plants when it comes to plants that I want to put up here or I want to place here in this area of our house. So yeah, let's get excited. Okay, so this is our door and when you go in, the first plant that you will see is this one. This is a Chinese evergreen. It's doing so well in this area. As in, okay na okay siya dyan. Buhay na buhay siya. nag pearl na naman siya ng bagong leaf. And, yeah. And then, going to this side. So, this is a golden pothos that I propagated months ago. I have a snake plant which is not in very good condition as you can see meron siyang patay leaves but it also has a new leaf there okay so moving on the other side this is like my plant corner. So I have here, this one is a snake plant. This one they also say na this is very easy to take care of and hindi siya madaling mamatay. This by the way is the deadly spot. All the plants that I've placed here on this spot, namatay sila or namamatay sila. So I'm going to test out. Kasi sabi nila nga, it's, um, you know, this doesn't die easily so we'll see if mabubuhay siya dito sa spot na to. next is this tromanthi trio star which is not in its very good condition kasi napatagal ko siya sa labas yesterday dahil biniligan ko and hindi ko na ipasok agad as far as i know this plant doesn't like too much light so i guess that's why parang naging crispy yung mga leaves niya but hopefully magawa ng paraan or mabuhay pa siya because this is very very pretty okay so here I have random plants so simulan natin with this one this is the Calathea mermaid's tail I believe so I got this na medyo hindi na rin siya good condition para siyang rescue plant actually kasi medyo crispy na rin yung leaves niya when I got it but as far as I can see parang it's thriving so hopefully, mas maging okay pa siya. And here I have one of the newest plants that I own. This is the Philodendron Mycans with an abaca pole. So para gaganon siya siya. <laughs> this has very nice velvety leaves. Okay, sa tabi niya, I have one of my favorite plants. This is the Calathea Maconaya. I'm not sure, but I'll just put the name on the screen. This has one of the prettiest foliages or yung prints and leaves that I've seen in a plant. It's like an artwork. And interestingly, this plant, it folds up at night or kapag medyo madilim na and in the morning, nakaganyan siya. Nakabuka siya but at night, makikita mo naka parang nakataas yung mga leaves niya. And then, I have here a peace lily, one of my favorite plants also. Super easy to take care of as in low maintenance. You'd know if you need to water it kasi yung mga leaves niya mag parang alam mo yun, bababa silang ganyan. So, if nakita mo na ganun yung leaves, means you need to water it already. So, in the middle, I have this plant, which is an Epiprenum pinatum, I believe. And I am trying to make this work. I don't really know how to take care of this plant. I haven't really read or watched videos about this. So, I'm gonna research more. Kasi as you can see, nagbabrown na yung leaves niya dito. And meron siyang broken leaf here, which is probably due to shipping. So, yeah. 
And then the last plant in this corner is the Calathea. I forgot the name, but it's also a Calathea plant. And this also has crispy leaves. As in the Calathea plants, they are very high maintenance. Um, when I bought this, ganyan na talaga yung leaves niya. May mga brown brown. So this is like a rescue plant also. But I'm trying, I'm trying my best to make this alive. Because super pretty talaga ng mga Calathea's. So yeah, these are the plants in this corner. Okay, so from there, so now we're moving here in this table. So tong table na to, we use this as a study table. I also put my laptop there, but it's it has a south facing window over there. And this one is also a peace lily. Sabi ko sa inyo, this is one of my favorites because it's super easy to take care of. And I love it here. It's thriving here. Beside the peace lily, I have this. Some people call this corn plant. Some call this the sena or the kena. I'm not sure what this is called, but this one i used to put this there in that corner but i have to move it here because i thought it was dying there so i placed this outside and nung ilabas ko siya mas namatay siya as in nagkaroon siya ng mga napakadaming brown leaves and now i'm trying to keep this alive on this spot and the last corner in our living room that has plants so i have three plants here this is a watermelon pepperonia Super love the leaves on this plant. And then I have another Calathea Makoyana. I really love this plant. And the last plant in our living room that I have is this white Syngonium. This is a variegated version. As you can see, mayroon siyang white and mayroon siyang green. And I just recently got this from Plant Express PH. But yeah, I'm loving this. And hopefully, mag-grow siya dito. So that's it for this video, guys. Sana nagustuhan yung tanting quick house plant tour. Living room edition. I'm gonna do a follow-up on this, of course. Featuring the plants in the other rooms here in our house. But for now, that's what I have for you guys there. Sana nagustuhan yung video nito. If you like this video, please don't forget to hit the like button, comment, and of course, subscribe to my channel. If you haven't already, I would highly, highly appreciate it. I don't have anything more to say. Thank you so much for watching. See you guys again in my next video. Bye!